My name is Kalyan. I am from Intuit. Uh, I was uh, basically going to talk about uh, what we are doing with observability at uh, an Intuit uh, works at scale. We deal with uh, petabytes of data a day and uh, billions of transactions and lots of diverse distributed data. And I wanted to talk about our experience. And we use open source a lot. We contribute back. I'll talk about some of what we have been doing in that space. And I have over 30 years of experience working in platforms and uh, in, uh, in uh, been contributing to open source and open standards uh, all my career. Uh, that's briefly about me. OK. So the agenda for today is uh, uh, we'll be looking at uh, uh, basically the, the theme or the topic is uh, basically doing federated search over uh, distributed data. As observability scales up, we are dealing with huge amounts of data that's diverse. Uh, we are looking at some of the, we are going to look at the different data, the challenges that are there, and some of the solutions. And again, the idea is that instead of reinventing uh, a solution for these problems, why not leverage what's already been done in similar areas? So that's the theme. Uh, and again, uh, there's a lot of content. In, since there's only five minutes, uh, the slides that are also shared in, uh, in, in the site uh, will have a lot more content, and I've given references. So this is just to give an overview. But if you look at the slides and the references, you'll get a lot more data. OK. So the challenge here is that you know we deal with a lot of raw data. We deal with a lot of derived and analytical data. And then we have data that's coming, you know, that's logs, traces, metrics that's coming in. Uh, then there is also profiling data, performance data, and then you know, for various reasons, we need to keep data uh, on the edge in the cluster. We need to keep data in intermediate uh, storage, such as an S3, and it could be a primary or a secondary storage. And also the metrics, logs, etc., needs to be correlated and stitched together. So essentially, you have data in a number of stores, and all of it needs to be stitched together for to have any meaningful analytics. How do I do that? And that's the challenge we're trying to solve here. OK. So some of the challenges, as I said, correlation, right? I need to make sure that the data is correlated across different uh, layers of the stack and different types of data, whether it's metrics or traces and logs. How do I make sure all of that can come together, can be correlated? And the other challenge is uh, we are looking at uh, uh, you know, the significant exponential growth of observability data. And I cannot simply move everything to one central place because it's not very efficient, there's latency, and there's huge amount of network and egress costs that I have to pay. So uh, the general approach, and then we also need to make sure that we have data quality and governance, and data can be noise if there's no insights and AI ops accompanying it. How do I need to build that and do that with data that is distributed? So some of the solutions that, uh, that we have been working on, that we have implemented, I've done that in my previous jobs. I've seen it done in the industry. So one is we need to be cost effective. And one uh, key concept is around data gravity. As data explodes exponentially, I, I need to do the, my computation. I need to do my processing where data exists. I cannot expect to bring you know, petabytes of data into one place every day. I mean, it's just not scalable enough. So I need to make sure uh, I keep data in one place so that that's cost effective. And instead of sending data centrally, can I send the insight centrally? Uh, essentially, uh, maybe a derived data. Can I do something with uh, the metadata? So keep metadata central and data local, and then use essentially the federated search and uh, various approaches like data fabric where you essentially have a virtualized view of uh, this whole distributed, diverse, heterogeneous data. So that you have a unified, centralized, holistic view, but data, you process data where it exists. And that you do with uh, approaches uh, that are popular in the industry, in the big data world, in so many other areas, concepts like data ops, data fabric, uh, Presto, and so on. And those are something that we have used. We've seen some gaps. We'll briefly talk about what worked, what didn't work, what are some of the enhancements we've had to make. So again, uh, one data fabric has been very popular. It's used for a slightly different data ops problem, where you have data that's distributed across. And you need to provide a holistic view for the data, regardless of the location and format, 
and this is again spread uh, across. And while it's a very complex area, but some of the key concepts are, there's a virtualized view for the data, you need a data catalog, and you need a metadata. And the key part, or the fabric part, which is the fabric is the glue that brings together all the different diverse data. And that, that glue is the metadata. Because I need to know what the data is, how is it related to the other data, and how do I locate it, how do you bring it, how do you stitch it together, right? So all of that is the metadata that's critical. And uh, if you're talking about open source, which is what CNCF is about, uh, one approach would be to do it using Apache Arrow, which is an extremely popular uh, uh, ecosystem nowadays that's used across a number of open source and commercial vendors. So again, in the interest of time, I have just shared the content, but Basically, Arrow is a in-memory columnar format that's very good for vectorized uh, parallel processing. It's zero copy. There's no serialization cost. And then if I need to send it over the network, I use something called Arrow, uh, Arrow Flight. If, there's also Flight SQL if I want to do a SQL interface on top of it. And then if I want to do query processing, I have uh, Data Fusion. All these together make it extremely powerful. Uh, and uh, there are a number of implementations and one very popular one is what is called uh, FDAP that's used by Influx, DB, and many others. Uh, Velox uses it and, and so on. OpenObserve is another example. And here again, the idea is to use uh, Arrow for in-memory, uh, Flight for networking, Data Fusion for query processing, and Parquet for storage. And these are all very well integrated together, and that works very well. So what are the gaps here? Some of the gaps we saw was that while most of what we require in a data fabric or in a federated search work with, uh, with Arrow, but uh, one key aspect is the metadata. That is something that is still not supported. Now, there are uh, these open source metadata platforms such as Data Hub and Apache Atlas that, that you could use. So that's something that we are looking at. Similarly, distributed query is something that's important. The idea being that uh, when I send a query, I may need to make sure I uh, have a query plan, I have optimizers and execution plan and all of that, and then I federate it over a number of nodes, and then essentially aggregate all the data back together. Now, all that uh, needs to be done, and that's something that's still a missing piece. Now, within the Arrow ecosystem, there are things like Ballista and GlareDB that do it, uh, or you could build something uh, fairly easily. So that's one option. So and similarly, the user-defined types are supported in Arrow, but UDFs are still not supported. So that's something that's uh, being worked on. Uh, I'll just quickly, the other option would be to use Presto. Presto is, again, uh, a distributed query engine that's based on SQL. It's, in fact, it does the distributed queries, it does very well. It has essentially the concept of coordinators and workers. There's also uh, uh, a resource manager. So essentially, I can. Uh, I can deal with diverse distributed heterogeneous data with, and there are a huge number of uh, connectors uh, essentially that uh, Presto supports. So I can deal with all kinds of data. I can connect to it and essentially, uh, uh, you know, federate my query, send different queries to different components or connectors, you know, essentially send it to workers and bring all the data back, aggregate it into uh, a unified query. So. That's where it works very well, and it uses a Hive meta store. Now, what are the limitations here? The one major limitation we saw was that the meta store is very rigid. So, if I have now nowadays, if you look at these large systems, you need uh, transparent partitioning. The partitions will keep growing, and you need to change the partitions. You need to deal with schema evolution, and these are some of the challenges that today the Hive meta store and Presto cannot handle. One approach to do that would be use something like, uh, you know, uh, Apache Iceberg. Iceberg is seen as a, a way to open source way to implement a, a lake house, which is a mix of a, a data lake and, a, you know, a data warehouse. Uh, but essentially for the purpose of what we're doing here, uh, Iceberg is very good with supporting transparent partitioning. It supports uh, schema evolution and it supports uh, asset transactions and things like that. So. Uh, and it has a very flexible metadata. Uh, and so, and, and Presto has a connector for Iceberg. So one possibility is that delegate the metadata handling 
within Presto to Iceberg, it will do it a lot more flexibly. And then you'll get a lot of these federated query and distributed uh, processing for observability. Uh, all of these benefits will come to you. Am I OK? I mean, I can go on and on, but I'll just, uh, ClickHouse is another uh, key component that can be very useful. Uh, Velox is, a, uh, again, a pluggable engine, so particularly if you're doing a lot of Java processing. Velox is based on C++. It supports Arrow. It, it does very well. And uh, Iceberg, I just talked about it. Uh, particularly the metadata handling in, in this use case, it it's, uh, works very well. And if you put it all together, this is the Intuit case study that, that we talked about, where uh, there are all these different domains, uh, starting from analytics, data, federated queries. And we talked about some of the possibilities that are there. We have gone more with the Presto possibility. But as I said, you can also use the data fabric approach with Arrow. Both of those will work for you. And uh, uh, I don't have time, but I've shared some uh, interesting references. And uh, the uploaded, uh, it's already uploaded into the site. Uh, the updated one I'll be uploading uh, right after this, uh, this session. So I hope you, you found it useful and you'll probably learn more uh, if you're interested from what's uploaded into the site. Thanks a lot.